All right, congratulations. You have just landed your first job. Your boss likes you and they wanna pay you for your work. Our fictional character here is gonna be getting $100,000 a year and we're gonna use him to try and visualize what our tax system looks like here in the US. So our salary is $100,000 and one of the first questions we're gonna have is, well, how much am I going to owe in taxes? It's a very common question across the US and it's a very common thing that most people don't really understand. It's a big misconception in terms of how our tax system works. So in the United States, what we have is called a graduated tax system. As you earn more money, you are going to pay more in taxes. And that seems pretty straightforward. But what happens in this progressive system is that as you earn more money, you're also going to pay a higher percentage of tax on that money that you earn. This is different to a flat tax rate, such as sales tax in your state, where maybe everything is taxed at the same percentage. In Maryland, it's taxed at 6%. Uh, with the exception of some certain items. A graduate tax system will have brackets or pockets or different containers that are used to hold different amounts of money and then tax them at different rates. So in the US, the federal income tax rates for 2022 are shown on the screen. You've got 10% is the lowest tax bracket. So the, each row is gonna be considered a bracket. Then you've got 12%, 22, 24, 32, 35, and 37, with different amounts going into each one, depending on whether you are filing singly or married filing joint. So the misconception that we would have for most people here is that we're making $100,000 and we must be therefore in the 24% tax bracket because that is between 89,076 and 170,050. This is not true though. I want to take you through how our tax system actually works. First thing up on our tax journey is figuring out our deductions. So this is what we are going to be able to take away from our salary and not pay any taxes on. So this is the tax-free money that we get. The US has two different ways of doing this. The first one is called an itemized deduction. This is where you are adding up things like your charitable contributions and other things that are considered to be a deduction on the amount of taxes you pay. And if that number is higher than $12,950, you do what's called itemized deductions. Now, most of us, and that's 85% of Americans, will file using the standard deductions. This is the amount of money that any person is entitled to keep tax-free without paying any taxes on. So the first $12,950 that you earn, you get to pay no taxes on. That is yours. After that, we're going to start paying taxes on our income. So the first thing is that table that we just looked at with the income tax rates, the first step on that table is the 10% tax bracket. So we are going to fill that up with the first $10,275 that we earn after we've taken the standard deduction out. So you can see on the left that there was $87,050 that was still left in our salary after the standard deduction. That's called our taxable income. We've just taken 10,275 out of that. So we are now left with 76,775. The next bracket for us is the 12% bracket. Now you can imagine this kind of like a bucket scenario. You fill up one bucket and when you fill it up, it overflows into the next bucket. So the first one was the standard deduction. When we fill up that 12,950, so we've made more than 12,950, then the 10% bucket starts to fill up. Once that's filled up, then the 12% one starts. And this bracket is able to hold 31,500. Since we still have more than that left to tax, we are going to fill up this entire bracket. So 31,500 goes in the 12% bracket. So now we have $45,275 left of our taxable income that still needs to be taxed. This goes into the next bracket, which is the 22% bracket. Now this one can hold more than what we actually have left to tax. So all of our remaining income is going to go into this bracket because we haven't filled it up yet. So this money will be taxed at 22%. The remaining brackets stay empty. We didn't make enough money to put any in there. So none of our money will be taxed at 24%, 32, 35, or 37. As your income goes up, you will start filling those brackets up and super high income earners fill all of them up and then the remainder of their money just goes into the last bracket. So let's see now what the tax part is going to look like. The first bracket, 10%, our $10,275 in there is going to be taxed at 10%. So 10% of that money is going to come out, which is $1,027.50. Then you move over to the 12% bracket, 
Remember, we have $31,500 in here. We're going to tax that at 12%. So 12% of that comes out, which is 3,780. Then the 22% bracket. We have 45,275 in here. 22% of that comes out for taxes. So that's $9,960.50. This is our total tax. So we take all that money that we've pulled out for taxes, add that together. That is the total amount of federal income tax you owe on a $100,000 salary. So this is what we call our effective tax rate. When you take the amount of tax you paid divided by your salary, that's how much you are actually paying in taxes as a percentage. So even though our highest tax bracket is the 22% bracket, we're actually paying 14.768% of our income in federal income tax. So big difference between the bracket you are in and the actual percentage of tax you are paying. Now, again, this is a very simplified version of what income tax looks like. There are other things that might come out, such as 401k deductions, um, any sort of personal exemptions, um, credits, that sort of stuff. So it's just a basic, this is what our income tax system looks like. Okay, so now let's take the scenario of getting a raise. Let's call it 50000 So extra $50,000 comes in, and what I've heard in the past is people being worried that, oh, a raise is going to actually make me lose money because I will move up a tax bracket and now suddenly that increase in the amount of tax I'm paying will cause me to have less money overall at the end. Totally false. Um, based on what we know already from our bracket system, we are going to just continue to fill up the brackets. So I'm going to take out 10,000, I'm going to replace it with some change so that we can finish filling up the 22% bracket. So if this person got a $50,000 raise, some of that money would go into the 22% bracket. The rest of it would go into the 24% bracket. And if it was more, again, it would just continue to fill up the brackets all the way up to 37, and then it would just continue to go into the 37% bracket. So don't ever let the chance of getting a raise stop you from taking it because you're worried about the tax implications. It will not be a bad thing in most cases. Now, if you are worried, consult your accountant or your CPA just to make sure. In 2023, the tax brackets are going to be a little bit different. So every year, the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, releases what the brackets are going to look like for the coming year. So on the top of each bracket is what it is in 2022. On the bottom is 2023. So as you can see, the standard deduction is going up by $900 to be $13,850. This is great for the average person because that means more of your money is going to be going straight into your pocket tax free. So the amount of money that you don't pay taxes on has increased. The percentages in each bracket have not changed. Now that can sometimes happen too. Um, for example, the 12% bracket was once a 15% bracket, but the other ones are all staying the same. Everything is staying the same for the coming year as well. What's changing is the amount of money in each bracket. So flash those up really quick. We've got $11,000 going into the 10% bracket from 10,275. The 31,500 in the 12% bracket is going up to 33,725. They're all increasing with the exception of the last one, which is where all of this increase is coming from. What that means for the average person is that more of your money will be taxed at a lower rate. So again, more of your money taxed at a lower rate, which is good for the average person. Um, it means that instead of some of your money being taxed at 12%, it's been moved back into the 10% bracket. So it will be an overall lower amount of tax being paid. So if you have the same paycheck in 2022 as you do in 2023, what you might notice is more of your money is actually coming into your net income because your company is withholding less because the brackets have gotten bigger. So you should see a little bit less in tax overall, more money coming into your pocket, which is uh, designed to try and fight um, the rising inflation costs that are happening for the average person. If you have any questions, feel free to check it out on the IRS website, consult your local accountant. This video is for education and information purposes only, and it's not designed to be taken as advice.